I've helped 75 developers go from now knowing anything about coding to landing their dream software developer job within nine months. Just like Kirian, who went from earning $16 an hour working for Apple to earning over $80,000 a year as a skilled full-stack developer. And in this video, I'm going to lay out the three-step roadmap for how you can do the exact same thing. So let's get started. The first step to learn how to code fast is to learn how to learn, okay? This is like pretty much the most important point. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you've never been taught how to learn. You've been taught how to memorize and memorizing stuff is not going to help you get good at anything. I remember when I first learned how to learn, it was actually a very painful experience, you know, because uh, my dad, whenever I was messing up something, whenever I wasn't understanding like a math subject or whatever, he used to smack me. He taught me a few principles that whenever I explain to my paying clients without smacking them, by the way, they manage to learn everything way faster, okay? So I boil down my experience of learning how to learn into three steps, okay? You could call it a framework, the 3W framework. And this framework helped me learn how to code. It helped me learn law because I used to be in law school back in the day. It helped me learn how to make music. I'm actually a signed artist on Spotify. It helped me learn how to paint and draw. I used to be in like uh, Romanian's best uh, art school and I had no talent. The only talent that I had was learning how to learn and I wanna pass this down to you. So the three W's framework works in this way. So we have the what, the why, and the when. The what is describing the context around the concept that you want to learn okay because without context uh, nothing will make sense looking uh, through a microscope and you see some weird some moving particles and whatnot and you have no idea what's in there but then if you zoom out then you'll actually see that someone is using the microscope to study your the hair on, on your skin right so you need some context you need to know what you are learning okay without context you'll not be able to understand anything like memorizing is not going to help you then you need to know why you are learning this thing like why is this concept that you are learning it doesn't matter if it's a for loop an if statement a function uh, learning how to use an api learning react it doesn't matter what subject you are learning. If you don't understand why that thing has been created in the first place, you will not be able to understand it. That's why so many people are struggling with React because they don't understand what React is supposed to be doing. They don't understand how to use JavaScript properly and that's why they don't get why React is such a useful tool and so on and so forth. And then we have the when. Uh, we know about all these tools and because you are very inexperienced and you are not asking yourself when should I use this tool, you are using the wrong thing at the wrong time. That's why I always say, hey, don't use React, for example, to build your portfolio. You should use HTML and CSS uh, and some plain JavaScript. And beginners don't understand this concept when experienced developers are seeing that you are using the wrong tool, for example, React to build your portfolio website, they will say, oh, you don't know JavaScript and you don't know React. That's why you're using the wrong tool for the wrong problem. If you don't know how to learn and if you don't understand concepts and you're trying to memorize, it's like learning how to drive from your home to McDonald's, okay? That's it. But if I'm gonna ask you, hey, can you drive from your home to you know the nearest city, you'll be absolutely lost because you only memorized when you have to press the acceleration for how long should you press it, how long should you press the brake, how much you should press the brake, instead of learning how to actually drive. Then the next thing that you need if you wanna learn how to code fast and get paid fast, is to start building projects from day one. So I have been teaching myself code in 2016, and for the first maybe four to six months or so, I was literally wasting time. I was feeling very productive, right? Because I was spending four to six hours a day Every single day, really, I was extremely disciplined. I was extremely hard working, but I was just following along uh, random courses on Udemy, random uh, videos on YouTube. I was just typing after what the instructor was saying. And as the instructor was typing certain things, I was feeling extremely smart, right? I was feeling like I was getting it. But when it came time for me to actually doing the thing, I wasn't getting that far. Actually, I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't even able to start something. I was literally looking at the blank uh, editor and I was just staring at it. I had no idea what to do. You need to get out of this mode as fast as possible. Now you might say, okay, Christian, but what applications can I build? Because I have no idea, I'm a noob and I get you. The problem is that you have a standard that is unachievable. 
What do I mean by that? Well, imagine I want to learn how to play piano. I buy like a keyboard and whatnot. It's like me saying I have to be able to play Mozart from day one. It's impossible, right? The first thing that you'll do in day one if you want to play piano is just to hold a note or like hold some basic rhythm for five seconds. Do that every single day, you'll start to be able to press two keys at the same time. I hope you understand the main principle behind what I'm saying, right? You have to start small. So in my mentorship program, whenever I teach someone a concept, like for example, variables, I make them write a hundred variables. Even if they say after the fifth one, okay, I know how to write a variable. I do that because that is the first app they have to build and they have to build it by themselves. I tell them something like, okay, look around yourself in your room. What do you see? Well, I see a wallet. Let me make a variable called wallet and let me store some data in there. I see airports, I see uh, melatonin, I see a remote, I see a phone, right? Let me start describing stuff so I can do stuff. The next day you're learning about functions, write a shit ton of functions. Then you're learning React, write a lot of React components, write a lot of state, pass down props, whatever you have to do, just do a lot of those things and you'll start to get it. But you'll only start to get it if you write code by yourself without uh, attendance, without you copying from someone else. That's the only criteria. It can be anything. It can be as stupid as, I don't know, clicking on, on a button and changing the color of the, uh, the background of the page. If you do this every single day, one app a day, every single day for like three months, you'll get really good, really fast. I can guarantee you that. This is what I do with my, my students in my mentorship program. It's nothing crazy, it's just do a lot of stuff, a lot of time, and try to increase the difficulty a little bit. But start as dumb as you can from whatever level you are at. And probably most of you are not using, I don't know, Udemy courses to learn anymore. Maybe you're using ChatGPT. Don't use ChatGPT. I have in my program people that have been using ChatGPT for like three years by themselves and they are as close to the beginning as people who never coded in their lives, okay? ChatGPT is gonna be the biggest scratch for your career and I highly recommend you to not use it. In fact, in my program is absolutely forbidden. After you've built this projects, these mini projects for a very long period of time, it's time to build a big ass project. And then you can start, you know, by solving a real problem that you have in your life, maybe counting calories, maybe creating invoices, whatever it might be. Every big ass project is made from smaller projects. And each one of those smaller projects is made from even smaller projects. So you can have a challenge where every single day you add a new feature to that project. If you do that for three months, six months, you'll be so good you'll have no problem getting hired people are not doing this and they spend their time applying to jobs instead of spending their time getting better at code and then they wonder why they can't get a job because they are mediocre okay they are just good enough good enough doesn't exist anymore and the last step in learning how to code to get a job fast is to prepare your linkedin profile this pre-step okay is the most important make sure you actually build that project that i mentioned a minute ago. Tens of thousands of job applications. Literally, you will spend years searching for a job because you are unqualified without a good project. There are people that I'm seeing every single day on LinkedIn. They are crying. They are devastated. Their lives are turned upside down. They've been scammed by boot camps. They've been scammed by colleges. They are in an absolute mess because they are missing this project. I don't want you to be that person. I don't want you to spend years on LinkedIn, becoming a LinkedIn zombie because you're not good enough. Your project is gonna help you get the skills. You will create a LinkedIn profile and then with that project, you'll be able to say that you are a developer. Now to create a good LinkedIn profile, you need a few things, okay? The first thing is a profile picture. I see so many people that are taking, you know, a picture of them, like in a McDonald's, you know, they have like a Star Wars shirt, they have a Nike t-shirt, whatever. They don't look professional, you know, they look whack. And you might say, oh, but I don't want people to judge me based on uh, how I look. I want them to judge me based on my skills. No, it doesn't work like that. You're not going to change the human nature. You need to figure out what the game is and you need to play the game by the rules that the game has, okay? You are not that person who's going to change the game, okay? At least not yet. So, get a professional photo shoot. Once you have like three, four, five pictures, go on this website called photofiller.com. And on this website, you can put your photos and people will vote on which photo you should be using. 
use the project that you've made as work experience, okay? Write down every single thing that you've accomplished with that project and whatnot. And this is kind of the, you know, the 20% which is gonna get you the 80% of the results. Most people don't do that. They have, you know, pizza shop experience, uh, Uber driver experience. That's not gonna cut it. You're not a developer, you're an Uber driver, right? So make a project, put it on your LinkedIn as experience, and then you'll be getting some results. Now, if you're of my students, if you're one of my students, go and reach out to ex-students of mine. You can find them, you know, on LinkedIn and ask them for a referral. Legit developers will say that you are a legit developer, so then your profile is gonna be absolutely sick compared with someone that finished a bootcamp or is a self-taught developer. If you're not one of my students, then find out, find someone to do it for you, okay? What's really important is that when you start applying to jobs, uh, you will also do uh, some networking and networking is very simple. All you have to do is whenever you apply to a job, go and check out the company that you apply to, find the people that are working there, connect with them, send connection requests. We have like a hundred connection requests per week. Send connection requests to hiring managers, project managers, CEO, CTO, software developers, and then tell them something like this. Hey, Jimmy, I really like what you're doing, a developer pro, I just applied, do you mind? me asking you a few questions about what you are doing there, like how how is life as a software developer at Developer Pro, right? You do something like this. So many people don't do this because they overthink this so much, it's absolutely insane. Listen, I have managed to become a developer by following these steps, or I have made a lot of mistakes that led me to find these steps. I have helped dozens of people learn to code fast and help them get developer jobs fast. For example, Jacob, just implemented these steps. Uh, he did an amazing job. He's not, you know, a genius. I don't want to take it away from him. He's not a genius. He's a normal person who just applied these steps that I mentioned here really well. You can check out the interview with him here, I think, or here. And that's pretty much it. Apply these three steps and you'll be an absolute savage. Peace out.